What's up guys, another video today of the Boy Cave, and today is a versus battle, alright? This versus battle is going to be pretty interesting. Check out my other versus battle, which is the Takedown versus the Helios, um, the Trio versus the Claw, and yeah, go check those out. Those are pretty much recommended. They're really cool versus battles. I also got the Helios versus the Finisher, check that one out too, and the Shockwave versus the Ultra One, check that one out too. So check those versus battles on the boy cave on youtube go check those out right now and we are having another versus battle which is the night attack you probably know versus the elite 2.0 commander rd6 which one's better well we're about to find out these guns are be these guns are going to be classified by four things all right first up the looks the speed! Next up, the feeding. Last but not least, the power! Alright, so we're gonna get to the awesome looks. With the guns first, obviously, right? First up, we're gonna go with the looks of the commander. The commander doesn't look too bad, honestly. I really like the 2.0 color scheme, and this gun has the 2.0 color scheme. So that's pretty cool, honestly. It says commander right here, and it's got a barrel attachment, six round cylinder. It says elite 2.0, and it says nerf right here. And I think it looks pretty nice, honestly. It's got a good grip. I like the teal and the orange together. The primer looks pretty good, honestly. And yeah, I really think it's a good gun. It's got a tactical rail, and I've always thought the Elite 2.0 looks look amazing. What's up, guys? And now we're going to look at the Night Attack. The Night Attack looks pretty nice. Center of the grip, it looks pretty good. I like the color scheme, blue and green, but not as much as the um, Elite 2.0 Commander, honestly. I think the Commander looks just better. But it does say night attack, just like the commander says commander. It's got a scope on top that gives it an extra look. The primer looks pretty nice, and it's got this gritty feel, meaning it's like kind of like this weird dotted feel. It's kind of weird. But I like it. I like the, the dragonish look. It looks cool. This is going to be a tough one because it seems that I do prefer the commander. So I'm going to be telling you that the commander, I think, looks the nicest. Honestly, I think you could notice the looks of the commander. I think it just looks better. I don't know why. Nerf has always been pretty good in color schemes. They haven't been too bad with their color schemes. Like, Adventure Force is an improvement. Like, you should see the Auto 72. Wow, the color scheme to that is absolutely awful. It's like the worst color scheme I've ever seen on a toy gun in the history of mankind. This is what Adventure Force should try doing. This is a good example of how color schemes should look for Nerf Gun, honestly. So, the looks, one point goes to the commander. Let's go on to the next one. Alright, next up is the speed, and we're going to start with the Elite 2.0 commander. Let's test it. Now, the thing is, it does have slam fire this gun. So do we include the Sunfire, which, which would totally make it much faster compared to the Night Attack, or do we not include the Sunfire and just shoot like this? So honestly, either way, it is faster because actually there's a spring return to this thing too, so you can easily climb much faster. So this easily goes, the wind goes to the Commander too, because, like, it's obvious, we don't even need to show it, like... This does not have a spring return. It does not have slam fire at all. So you will have to shoot like this. It's much slower. Unlike the commander, you can go like this. So you look at that. So it's much faster, you can slam fire, you got a spring return, you can go much faster than most guns anyways. So yeah, the commander gets another point for speed. 
What's up, guys? Next up is the feeding, and the feeding is a very good part, a crucial part. So as you can see, the commander feeds through a cylinder. So you load in gently a dart like this. Boom. Turn the ro rotator, and then you load in another dart. As you can see, we have an adventure force right over here. And you feed it through a magazine. So you load the magazine like this. Run for and fire. Now, you could easily prepare yourselves more magazines and just load it in like that, but that's not fair. So, how longer would it take to load in a magazine or load in a, a rotating thing there? Well, we're about to find All out. Alright, I'm gonna put a timer and let's see which one loads faster. First, with the commander. Next up, the Adventure Force Night Attack. Ready, set, go. This is taking so long. There. Alright, so it turns out that the Commander's feeding is faster than the Night Attack's feeding. And don't get me wrong, loading in magazines take years, so yeah. It makes sense. So the commander gets another point, which is pretty crazy. But yeah, it, it is faster. It has a six round magazine, so, or a rotating drum, whatever you call it. So yeah, it gets another point, the commander for feeding. Next up is the power. All right, down to the power. Now, if you checked my review on the commander and the night attack, you would probably notice that the commander has 69 FPS of velocity and 85 FPS. Now, this did not get modded at all, first of all. It was not modded, it was just straight out of the box. And man, it hurts. I shot on myself and it really, really hurts. Like, this pinch is crazy. It has like red marks everywhere. It's a really painful blaster, but man, it's a strong 85 FPS. So the power goes to the night attack, guys. So one point for the night attack. That's pretty much what it got. It deserved a point because it does obviously have much stronger hitting velocity, which is pretty surprising for a Busby toy like this. So yeah, I'm surprised. Honestly, I was expecting when I unbox this gun to be much lower, like 60 FPS sharp. But yeah, it turned out it got a point for the Alright, so the result is that the Night Attack got one point, and the Commander got three points. It really deserved that. Solid, solid gun. And yeah, so Maverick got three points, and the Night Attack got one. That is the conclusion to which gun is better. And it turns out the commander is better. So guys, I hope you've liked this video. Subscribe and give a nice like. Go check out my Redbubble shop on redbubble.com. Don't forget to check it out. There's a cool, uh, a very cool amount of nerf stuff. There's a nerf collection. You can click on above and you'll have a bunch of nerf targets. They're like sticker targets. You can make a large one, get a large one, and it's pretty much a target, which is really cool. I decided to do that. So go check it out. Get $2 cheap targets. Have some fun with your Nerf guns if you do have any. And yeah, we'll see you on the next one. See ya.